Okay, at last, an analysis of a power snatch. Okay, so in looking at the uh, the setup of the first pool, see a slight kyphotic curve and uh, lumbar curve in the back, uh, but the the bar uh, close to the body, shoulders over the bar, knees over the bar, and we see a good speed in the first pool. Okay, so you know, have a look at the transition or the scoop. On this uh, scene, to start to move the body around the bar, um, but um, very limited shrug of the shoulders. So instead, what I'm doing is, is I'm getting triple extension at the uh, ankle, knee, and hip, but then I'm I'm, I'm jumping um, high in the air, really rather than just extending. So I'm extending and going to a big jump and as a result I've got quite a big horizontal displacement of the bar uh, and I'm really generating too much velocity on the bar as well in, in this scoop phase which have got an awful lot of work to do uh, to actually land underneath the bar. So see just in this shot here, it's, it's triple extensions is pretty good. I don't think you can actually see my, my feet from there but um, from here on it's a sort of a jump. Okay. Uh, so the peak forces uh, could be could be better if I was generating more power to hit rather than really it seems to be generating hip extension and then jumping. So um, not exactly uh, efficient at this stage. So when we look at this slide, I can see how much horizontal displacement is actually being achieved, which is huge. Also, looking at the uh, the back position here, um, it's, uh, it's it's a, it's a quite a weak position to be fair. I haven't really maintained any sort of uh, good posture while I'm trying to get, get underneath the bar. Um, I've uh, m moving backwards really far too much in order to cope with the massive velocity and the horizontal displacement I've I've put onto the bar here. So. Um, this could be a lot more efficient, uh, as I said, from the, the extension moving I initially do and the, the getting rid of the big jump. Okay, so in catching the bar and as in line with uh, research, I am catching the bar forward of the, the vertical um, reference line, but, but quite a fair way here, and that's not surprising because of the amount of displacement we see, horizontal displacement we see in the previous slides. Um, I put an angle on there where I'm landing, um, so 105, 98, could be landing a little bit deeper, but because I've got such a big jump, it was very, very difficult to land underneath, underneath the bar. Um, Awful back position, a um, lot of curvature in the lumbar spine, very unstable position. Key things from this freeze frame is the ongoing um, awful back position. Uh, I have tight back, tight hip flexors, uh, which is causing this. 
Um, as a result, when you see it in the slow motions and coming up, <clears throat> there's a lot of um, sideways movement of, of the of my body coming upwards when I'm uh, lifting the bar up. And even at the end position here, we see a big curve um, towards the, the lumbar spine as well. Uh, tight shoulders, I'd suggest as well on this, uh, when I'm struggling to, to maintain a good position uh, underneath the bar. So, see the whole thing in slow motion now. <clears throat> so, good. Um, starting position, tight in the, uh, in the back, but moving the bar around the body first of all, then the jump and the, the lack of shrug in the shoulders, too much velocity um, into, this, into the scoop phase, too high, um, struggling to get underneath the bar, so work to be done. Okay, so we've work to be done. Um, could be focusing on high pulls, working on the efficiency of the triple extension, trying to eradicate that big jump. Uh, snatch balance, working speed underneath the bar. Uh, overhead squat um, for stability around the shoulders, um, in the hips, and mobility as well in the, the lumbar spine, the glutes, and the hip. 